Hi guys, Trim Keto Mama here. I thought I would show you a, what a grocery haul looks like. So I'm gonna show everything that I got today at the store, but then also what are some things I'm gonna make with these items. And then at the very end, so make sure you watch to the end, I have a little appetizer that I'm gonna show that I found on Pinterest. If you haven't followed me on Pinterest, you can find me there. And I thought this would be a good lunch item for my daughter to take to school, so we'll see. All right, so I went to the store today. I typically shop at Aldi. It is much cheaper. However, I was ready to shop at like 8.30 and they don't open till nine. So I went to the dreaded Walmart and got groceries today and spent twice as much money, but I got it done and got home earlier. So um, I'm gonna just kind of show you all the items and then I'll tell you about some of the things on my meal list and then I'll show you the snack at the end. So. Um, no keto kitchen could not have heavy whipping cream unless you can't do dairy. Um, but heavy whipping cream is used for lots of different things. Um, my favorite use for it is for whipped cream for the top of like a mug cake. Um, when I used to do bulletproof coffee, I used it for bulletproof coffee. Heavy whipping cream is a staple unless you can't have dairy. Um, for a really easy meal for my kids, because they love it, is hot dog, we call them hot dog weenies, but they're little Smokies. <laughs> And we have some sugar-free barbecue sauce. I just got some sugar-free ketchup today you can put on them. Um, you actually can even do the fathead pizza dough and slice it into thin slices and roll it like pigs in a blanket. So that's kind of fun. Uh, so that's kind of just a simple protein uh, that we use for the kids. Uh, bacon bits, these aren't necessarily keto because they do have a tiny, tiny bit of sugar. And, but I do use them in really simple, recipes like I'm getting ready to show you here in a little bit. So bacon bits. Pepperonis, we use a lot of pepperonis. I don't typically eat a lot of pepperonis, but my kids do. You kind of are hearing the trend, right? I'm gonna get to the stuff I eat here in a minute, but these are handy to do like with meat and cheese and pepperoni and roll it up. But some people, depending if you're very strict keto or if you're more dirty or lazy keto, or if you're just low carb, depends on how much of the processed meat you have in your diet. Kerrygold butter. You guys have probably heard me talk about it before. It's the only butter that we use. It's great in coffee. It's great just, you know, flavoring, putting butter on your vegetables and things like that. So Kerrygold butter. Um, avocados. We don't do a ton of avocados, but I do like to keep a couple. Um, eggs, we buy them by the five dozen, typically. <laughs> My husband eats a lot of eggs. I don't really eat a ton of eggs, but I use eggs in recipes like cream cheese pancakes or cream cheese waffles. Um, in the mug cakes that I make. So I do use egg for that reason, but not necessarily just for scrambled eggs or um, a fried egg or something like that. So we go through a lot of eggs. Um, I keep either sticks of cheese or little blocks of cheese like this for snack or for the kids. Um, they typically like the Monterey Cheddar Jack. And then I got these, I don't typically buy these, but they're a good little treat if you're wanting something sweet but don't really have time to make anything or don't want to, to just squirt a little of your whipped cream on a sugar-free Jello. And the sugar-free Jello is definitely not keto, it's more like low carb, okay? Because some of the ingredients is not keto, has aspartame. So, um, you know, it would be definitely not something you do all the time and not at all if you're strict keto. So we have been getting these this cheese from the deli area and I'll show you why we've been getting it from there. It's a lot bigger of a slice. And so they make perfect sandwiches. So I'll just take some lunch meat and if I do pepperonis and then I just roll it up like this and it's a great little snack or meal. Like I might do a couple of them for my lunch or for my dinner and like doing a little bit of avocado with it would just round it out for being having a little bit of fat too. Some ranch or some full fat mayonnaise would be great. Um, we get, um, the oven roasted ham. Make sure you don't get honey ham because it's gonna have extra sugar. And then uh, some of the some of the other things is like I'll do zoodles with Alfredo sauce. Um, if I want to have more of an alipana type sauce, I'll use a pizza sauce. So to make a like alipana type sauce, I'll do like a couple tablespoons of a pizza sauce with the Alfredo and just stir it with a spoon and combine them. So pizza sauce has a lot less sugar and a lot less carbs. So that's why I typically use pizza sauce over spaghetti sauce or marinara. So that's a little hack for, for your sauces. 
So zoodles with a little bit of grilled chicken's great. We use a lot of ranch. I don't use a ton of ranch, but my husband and my daughter does. And we do a lot of breakfast, so I keep sausage. Sausage is also great for your egg roll in a bowl, which is just cabbage and sausage and some oils, like sesame oil and things like that. Super good. And also ham rolled up with cream cheese and pickles. Rolled up and cut in little slices is a great appetizer. Even for lunch, it's great too. So we keep a lot of pickles and the pickle juice is great for if you're having kind of leg cramps or anything like that. We also keep almond butter around. So they have this at Walmart now. I really like this brand. It's Sam's Choice. It's five bucks for the whole thing, which is really a good price. And I don't eat these, but my husband and kids do. They're a low carb tortilla. They are low carb, but they do have wheat. So they're definitely not keto. They're definitely more of a low carb convenience product. These have four net carbs, which the carbs part's not bad as the ingredients. So kind of like the sugar-free Jello and the processed meat. It just depends on how strict you're trying to be or just you're just trying to maintain a healthier lifestyle without being so strict, then you know these are great. So let's talk about vegetables. So guys, I do buy fresh sometimes, but just to be honest, it, it goes bad too fast. And unless I know I'm making it that day or the next day, I buy frozen. So I buy the frozen asparagus spears and I just put a little bit of garlic with some butter and put them in the microwave in the steamable bag. They're great. So broccoli can do the same thing with the garlic and the butter, super flavorful. Uh, and then I do on occasion cauliflower rice. And then this one's kind of new and it's cauliflower rice, but it's a medley and it has some mushrooms and some asparagus in it. And it's two net carbs per one cup. So it's, it's still, you know, very low carb. You have to be careful with some of your frozen vegetables, guys. They have like broccoli tots and they have zoodles, but you have to look at those because almost all of them have added potato starch to keep it from sticking together. And they're not low carb at all. So make sure you still read your labels. Like when this, I saw this and it was new. I'm like, ah, it probably has a bunch of carbs. But when I looked at it, it didn't. Two net carbs, um, it has two grams of fiber. So it's two net carbs. And the ingredients is cauliflower, mushrooms, and asparagus. So there's no filler, no starches, none of that kind of stuff. So be mindful in the freezer section, even if it's a vegetable, make sure you look to make sure there's nothing extra put in. So we do a lot of frozen vegetables, super fast. Um, if I am gonna make a vegetable, a lot of times I'll do radishes. These are from Aldi. So the radishes I just cut up and I'll fry them in a pan with some butter and some salt and pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, of course. And then I might even top it with a little bit of shredded cheese and it's a great side as well. So that is most of my haul for today. Okay, so for the snack, the ingredients that I'm using and I did already halfway put it together just to save some time. I used the, the roasted ham that I got from the deli, the Swiss cheese I showed you, and I got ranch and bacon bits. So I have parchment paper, I lay down six slices of ham and I kind of overlapped them. And then I added two slices of Swiss cheese with some ranch and I smoothed it out with a knife and then added some bacon bits. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll it up. And then after I do this, I'm gonna um, tell you guys some of the things on my meal list for the week. Some of it uses all these things, but some of it's not shown like some of my meat and stuff cause I keep it in the freezer. So it's gonna be kind of like a pinwheel. Have you guys ever had the pinwheels? And you could do pinwheels with the low carb tortillas if you are you know, more low carb and not keto. But I wanted to try it with just the ham on the bottom. And it looks like they might fall apart a little bit. Um, but I thought it would be worth a try. I feel like I send a lot of the same things to school with my kids. My kids aren't on a diet per se. I just try to eliminate the amount of sugar that they have. So it's definitely not holding together very well. I feel like the ham might be a little too thick. I think it would probably do better with a thinner sliced ham. A couple of them turned out fine. So just a little pinwheel with the ham, the Swiss cheese, bacon bits, and ranch. And these could be great for just a little grab and go snack or to send with the kids to school. I mean, they're not gonna care if they're falling apart, but I was hoping they would stay together a little bit better. Um, but anyway, I thought that's something I've never tried before. And uh, we'll see what the kids think, but it's all the things that they love. So uh, some of the stuff I have on my meal list is we're gonna have breakfast. We have breakfast at least one night a week, which includes bacon and eggs, usually cream cheese pancakes or waffles. 
and we're gonna do a deconstructed pizza, which will be with hamburger and sausage and pepperoni. And I'll use this pizza sauce on the bottom of the pan. And it's basically a crustless pizza, but it's in a casserole dish. We're gonna do meatloaf one night and I'll probably stuff it with some of the Swiss cheese. Cause I mean, you can have too much cheese, but it's really good, right? So <laughs> I'll probably stuff it with some Swiss cheese. We're probably gonna have a steak night with a veggie, kind of like the frozen veggie I saw showed you there with the steak, and then um, a broccoli alfredo. So broccoli would basically be the the pasta, so to speak, with your alfredo sauce and some grilled chicken. I typically use thighs because it has a higher fat content, and so that's some of the things on our list. But guys, we do a lot of stuff like this for dinner too. Um, stuff that's very simple, grab and go, because we have baseball, we have piano, we have karate, we have several activities, so we're on the go a lot. Anyone else? Can you relate? So we'll do just easy things, and sometimes we'll grab a burger to go somewhere too and just take the bun off, so we keep it really simple and practical. So guys, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Give me some feedback in the comments. At least say hi. Tell me where you're watching from would be cool. And make sure you share out the channel as well. Um, we're gonna have new content every single Friday and um, I'm just super excited to bring more content, more education, more recipes to you guys in the keto low carb lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and also go check out Trim Keto Mama on Facebook and also go check out TrimKetoMama.com. So with that being said, Trim Keto Mama out.